And we start on day one with Synapse Workspace. So I'm in my Azure portal and I already have five Synapse Analytics workspaces set up. You can have multiple workspaces per subscription. I can easily create a workspace by clicking in the top left on Create, and I can fill in a few pieces of information, including the subscription that I would like that Synapse workspace created in, pick a resource group or create a new one. I can give the workspace a name and choose the region that that workspace is created in. And I can set up an associated Data Lake Gen 2 account that's connected to that Synapse workspace. What I'll do is I'll open up an existing workspace and we can see the components and services within that workspace. So I'm going to open up the Synapse Analytics Studio. So when we log in, we can see we've got several tabs on that left hand side. I'm just going to expand those tabs. We have a home screen and we can jump straight in to loading some data or to visualize some data in Power BI. We also have a knowledge center as well. If I go into the data tab on the left hand side, this is where I can see all of my databases associated with my workspace. So if I expand SQL database, I can see dedicated SQL pools databases and I can see serverless SQL pools databases and the associated objects within those databases. I can also see lake databases that are created as part of a Spark workload or through the database designer itself. I also have Data Explorer databases as well. If I click into my linked area, I can see the storage accounts that are associated to my Synapse workspace. And I can actually go and browse those workspaces if I click into, let's say, one of the containers. And then I can start browsing down.